Good morning, my crafty friends. How are you this morning? Um, I have a cute little project. I saw Tanya from Tattered Treasures make, and I really like it. So I'm going to do something a little different. Well, it's the same but different from hers. So um, we're going to first read 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. Um, I, w I thought, you know what, this would make a cute little insert to go in a Mother's Day card. So I'm going to just do a quick little video on how. So let's get started. First, let me have a, a little sip of coffee here. Okay, this is a 12 by 12 sheet. I cut it in half and because this paper is directional. So we're going to score at two inches. And then we're going to score at four inch. Turn your paper around. Score at two inches again. And then again at the four inch leaving a four inch gap in the middle uh, it's six inches so i'm going to score at the three inch all the way down i hope you guys can see you probably can't see the bottom end of it there but and then in the middle i'm going to score at six inches but i'm only going to come down to the first or to the score mark like that i hope that makes sense <laughs> Okay, so we're going to fold all the score lines. And then this one is going to go back. This is going to be like an accordion because it's going to pull out like that. And back like this. And then fold it in half. Lengthways like this. And snip off. I'm just going to go as close to the score line and I'm just going to go right to the second score line on both sides. So now we have like this and then like this. So I'm going to remove the top two pieces. So this is this is coming off. Did a very shady job here. So I hope you are um, having a good going to have a good weekend. I had a very special dinner date last night with a very important man in my life we had a nice pizza supper oh i did that back oh you just see what i done ha uh, whatever <laughs> oh i'm such a donkey okay go your two inches here Fold it and then snip the top. So, yeah, we had a nice dinner last night, pizza. We went for a nice long walk with the dog home. We sat outside and talked. And then I had a nice warm bath with my 
book and then he watched his shows and I watched my craft shows. I fell asleep. He came in and closed the, my computer down for me. And I'm soaking it all in because when he gets older, that'll be done. Yes, so I had a nice dinner with my, and a nice evening with my grandson. I love it. Okay, so decide which way you want your, uh, your pattern. It could go that way, like this, or you could have this in the center with this on the outside, like that. But I'm going to have this pattern on the inside. Uh, she done hers uh, with a heart. So I made one and I put on a nice string to tie it up. She done hers with a heart. I'm going to do mine or this one with butterfly. So I just have to find my center here. So I need to draw with a pencil half half of a half the butterfly. Then you cut you have to uh, cut them together. And make sure that your pieces stay together. So I'm going to, and because I'm left handed, of course I had to do it backwards. Now it will look like that. How cute is that? Okay, so she took the uh, two uh, these two pieces. She used. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. She used the one and cut it in half. So I'm just going to cut it in half, but like a little bit shorter. Make sure it's all lined up properly, and then cut it in half again. So it's a uh, it's a three inches, so I'm going to cut it at an inch and a half. And then this piece here, I'm going to, um, she didn't use it, but I'm going to use this piece here, and I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm just going to even off all of the edges and everything. So we're supposed to get more snow, Ugh, I'm telling you. I just want summer to get here and be done with winter. Okay, now she took, this is kind of dark a little bit, so I could either gesso it or whatever, but then she took the uh, two pieces that were cut out. I'm just going to erase the uh, pencil marks and she put the the reverse on the inside here like that so you have the the negative on the inside so I'll just I'll glue this down quickly now how cute is that I like to thank Tanya for that. <laughs> Adorable. Now in the center, you can put a nice picture of yourself. You could put a nice picture of you and your mom together, or you can write a nice little something about your mom there. So I'm just going to ink the edges. I'm going to use the uh, red because, well, I like the red. That seems to be my new favorite color, and I don't normally like red, but... I think it looks really pretty against this. Oi.
Hmm. It's supposed to be just a quick little video, and I can't seem to my act together. Yeah, I fell asleep pretty early last night. Fell asleep before my grandson. Morgan is what, 12 now? 12? Yeah. Okay, so um, don't be like don't be like me. Ink everything before you glue it down. There we go. And then there she had put a pocket. Ivy's Shabby Craft Cabin. So I said the wrong name yesterday and I just want to apologize publicly for that. So with this piece here that I have left over, she didn't do anything with hers that I seen, but I want to have it so that it, it can stay in here and it'll be just an, um, a cute little, um, Something that she could carry in her wallet or whatever. And in here you can put a nice poem about your mom in here. But it's not attached. So it's using up every little bit of piece. Well, except these little bits there. But you know what I'm saying. So I'll make sure it's all even here. All right. So you can put a nice poem like you can just tear a piece of paper or um, if you have wonderful handwriting like me you might want to type it out on uh, your computer or on a typewriter so that at least your mother could read it uh, you could put a picture of one here with you and your mom there's uh, like all sorts of fill-ins here you can put nice sayings of your mom like positive words that you could insert in each pocket have our way of creating right these are the uh, words that i done up on my computer Put a nice word here, or you can put it here with a nice poem, whatever, right? And then it goes down like that, like that, like that. And then this opens up, and you can bling it up if you want. Mind you, it'll only have to be on like one side. You can take some black red. Yeah, I might do that after. Can't be fully prepared. Then I have this. Uh, I guess you can make, uh, it's on a big roll. You can make scarves or uh, shawls or whatever with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that to the back. Something on the back side of this if you if you want like to hide that and then tie it up and insert it in your Mother's Day card and uh, the flowers like if you want or whatever it is that you're planning to do for Mother's Day. So there you have it. I think it's really cute. So there's this one and I have this one here. So again, lift it up and pull it out. And then you have your little card that she could tuck in her wallet or whatever. So it's pretty much the same, but a little different.
from what uh, Tanya made. Thank you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it.